Hey everybody, finally made it home. There's another weather advisory in my city and traffic is bad, roads are bad. It started off really light, like a little, little flowering of, um, of snow. But it continued to snow and then the wind gusts picked up and there was even a rabbit that went and hid behind a pillar at my job. Felt kind of bad for the rabbit. It's like 12 degrees Fahrenheit here right now. And they say the real feel is six degrees. I don't know. I think the real feel may be a little lower than that. Um, it snowed all day and is expected to snow until about nine o'clock tonight. So the roads are bad, um, which is not normal for Minnesota because we have awesome pl snow plow workers. But with the way everything is now and so many people being sick or unable to work because they don't have a proof that they've taken care of um, taking care of business so that they can continue to work. Um, the roads are just horrible, covered with snow. I tried to call to get one of those rides home through the Ubers and the Lyfts and all that. And the app wasn't even working right because I guess because of how bad the weather was with the snow and everything. And just, I gave up on that, called a cab, called four times. Fourth time I was finally able to get through. The other first three times, nobody was answering the phone because they were extremely backed up on their calls and everything. So, yikes. Um, then when I did get through, just said, hey, I just want to ride. Only going a mile. Thinking, oh, that'll be really easy. They can just stop by and pick up. Because where I work at and where I live at, not only is it a mile apart, but it's kind of like the hot spot. <laughs> Or so to speak, in the cities. So it, it, there's frequently cabs, taxis, Ubers, buses. Even the buses in the area usually come every 10 minutes. But the cab companies have all combined into one. And they said, oh, we'll take your information, but it might take about an hour or more. I said, forget it, I'll walk bundled up in all my stuff like i tell everybody to bundle up and wear multiple layers and all that stepped out the front door whew, gust of wind hit me in the face um it was cold and i said well i'm not gonna walk that mile if it was warm i'd be walking that mile but it's not warm so no i'm not walking that mile today i'll take the bus so, my backpack on, got my extra scarf that I always keep at work. I always keep an extra jacket so that I can add that into my layers if need be. And an extra scarf and a couple extra hats and gloves and things like that. Put all my stuff on, backpack on, had my other bag with some other um, stuff that I was bringing home. Um, and I walked two blocks to the bus stop. There was the bus. Oh, great. Great timing. I'm walking up to the bus. The bus drives away. I said, oh, well, I'm not going to worry about it. Because surely another bus will be here in about 10 to 15 minutes. It's supposed to be another bus in 10 minutes. But I figure, you know, at least in 15 minutes, another bus will show up. No. I waited and waited and waited. And then my fingertips started to feel a little froth nippy. 
and my toes felt a little froth nippy in my boots. And I had on double pairs of gloves. Um, call the bus company. The bus will be there in 11 minutes. Okay, I think I can endure. I'll just wait. I'll wait it out. Other people were walking away from the bus stop, walking to wherever their destination or the next best spot for them to be. I waited. 11 minutes came and went. Still no bus. Call again. Oh, your bus will be there in nine minutes. Then your bus will be there in four minutes. Same thing. And I'm not complaining, ragging on the bus driver. The roads are actually pretty terrible out there today. Because for Minnesota, we always, our roads are cleaned up like that. Our, you know, and if you live in an association building like I do, it's usually cleaned up. Everything is usually shoveled, cleared, especially the main roads. So I waited and waited, and after about an hour, the bus came. But no, not one bus. Three buses came. Back to back. I mean, like, literally back to back. Three double buses came. I got on the bus, rode it that few blocks, and said thank you and got out and walked the last half mile through the snow. So I got my my so-called gym workout in the regular Minnesota snow. But this is why I say that it's good to be dressed in multiple layers, um, making sure you have on hats and scarves, a couple of pairs of gloves or a pair of gloves with a mitten over the top of it, because when it's cold, it is unforgivably cold. That's why we do the snow pants here. We make sure we have a, a good coat. We bundle up. We have scarves or mufflers. In Minnesota, you, you just can't walk around like it's summertime. Even though a few people try. You really can't do that. But earlier today, today, I was talking to some people that had gone shopping today and yesterday at different stores. And they were saying the same they are actually seeing now in, in Minneapolis, the same things that I've been talking about <laughs> since last summer, past seven, seven or eight months, about there not being a lot of regular items in the stores. And they went to some high name stores that usually carry a lot, but I, like I mentioned in a previous video, I believe some of those stores were like stocking up and saving things for a while so they can make it through the holiday season and still have a good profit coming in. So, and not have much of a hiccup at that point. But now today it was like one of the people told me the shelves were pretty bare. And so they grabbed. <laughs> a, a six roll or eight roll pack of toilet paper. That was their number one. And then they grabbed some food items and different things. This is why it's important to have things stocked up. Even having, you know, like a few extra canned goods. Having, get you a bag of rice every time you go. You may not be crazy about rice, but there's a lot of stuff that you can do with rice. And as long as you don't have any kind of... um food allergy to it or whatever you can get real creative if you've got rice and a variety of vegetables or other things um, and you can even do things with the tvp which i know a lot of people don't like tvp or they don't like soy but it is an alternative that will give you your protein um, at times when there's not available in other ways and things are changing now. So if you got a big deep freeze in your home and you're able to just open that baby up and, and pull out whatever you want and make whatever you want to eat, more power to you. I'm happy for you. But what if you don't? Or what if you have enough for today, but you don't have enough for next week or some other time? Buying those packages of the TVP the texturized vegetable protein, um, 
which basically is soy. If you if you don't have soy allergies, then you, it's an okay thing to have. And soy just takes on the flavor of what you put with it. So, um, but it's it is a protein, and you can make spaghetti uh, or lasagna. And when you're making your sauce, you can take two or three tablespoons of that and add to the sauce, and it's gonna swell in that sauce. And it will take on the flavor if you put in like a little bit of uh, beef base or chicken base or whatever. It's going to take on the flavor of those things. And it will also, it'll have the consistency of ground beef. So, and it only, well, I don't know how much it costs now because I've been stocking up on that for a while. But in the past, you could get a package of that at one of the um, cultural stores like the Mercado, places like that, and it would cost anywhere between three to five dollars. But that packet is enough has enough protein in it to last a person for a whole month. Five bucks. Whole month. That's one of those things that I think is kind of a good thing to stock up on. And if you're able to find any dried beans now, grab a bag or do. I'm just saying it would be a good idea for people to try to grab a bag or two. Uh, if you have a crock pot, that makes it that much better because you can measure out and just use what you need. Don't cook the entire bag unless you want to just totally start to hate dried beans it's like i used to enjoy having hard deviled eggs hard boiled eggs and deviled eggs and one time i went through when i was much much younger this phase where i just wanted to make a lot of deviled eggs and every day i was eating deviled eggs and i got real tired of deviled eggs really quick <laughs> so it's good to have some variety in your life but you know just to grab a bag of some dried beans. You can get pigeon peas. You can get black-eyed peas. You can get lentils. Lentils are cooked really, really quick. The others, you may have to soak in water for a while to get the gas off of it, pour it out, and then cook it or cook it all day in the crock pot. Or if you have an Instapot or a multi-pot, you can put it in there, push the button, and in an hour, It'll be done, but you have to make sure to add your flavor to that, whether it be onion or some kind of beef or chicken base or whatever, soup stock or whatever. Um, if you have your some dehydrated greens, then you can grind that, you know, have that ground up already. You can sprinkle that in so that it cooks with the rest of the food and you're getting your nutrition without going for broke. Well, just wanted to take a little time to pop in to, you know, give those few tips and let you know the weather here is kind of, kind of icky outside right now. Um, and the stores are lacking in my area now. And they've been, we've been hearing reports come in from all around the country, all around America anyway, about stores lacking and their supplies. And I don't know how it is where you are, um, but here they are starting to lack. So I hope you're prepared. I hope you're taking inventory of what you have. And if a storm comes your way, I hope you're prepared enough that if you have to be shut in for the weekend, you have an idea of what you wanna make to eat that you or your family can enjoy and you can sit down and relax and take some comfort and peace in knowing that everything's going to be all right and it's just a storm that's passing through have a good evening